She is the life force that perpetuates all of nature's magic. The breath of life that flows through your garden, home, and life, paving the way for success and loving relationships. Come join me as we show you how to design your life full of abundance, joy, and wonder through the magic of beautiful feng shui. Feng shui literally translates into wind and water. Feng shui is the ancient Chinese art of placement and has been practiced for thousands of years as long as people have sought shelter. And did you know that the pyramid, the Arch of Triomphe, even Stonehenge, all are based upon feng shui and earth design principles. Feng shui teaches us that our well-being, relationships, and prosperity are all connected to the environment. The direction of our front door, the traffic flow throughout the home, even the color of the wallpaper in the entry hall all play a role in feng shui. With proper placement of furniture and accessories, and by controlling the flow of energy that comes into the front door, we can alter the outcome of our lives. So, by intuitively making energetic adjustments in our environment, we can create balance and harmony of mind, body, and spirit, which translates into greater health, wealth, and happiness. Sound good to you? Today, I'm going to teach you the power of feng shui and how to use it to your personal benefit. Later on in the show, I'll present to you the art of gardening feng shui style to cultivate the riches of your life. I'll also create a wonderful aromatherapy aphrodisiac. Ooh la la. But first, speaking of your love life, and whose couldn't use a little loosening up? Did you know that the color of your sheets and even the position of your bed could have a positive impact on your relationship? Need a few tips? Feng shui to the rescue. We've been married forever, you could say. We have four grown children. We're empty nesters. We're very happy. But when you've been married as long as we have, it wouldn't hurt to add a little more spice to it. Tanya and Carl have goals. Goals to enrich their marriage of 26 years and to reignite the flame in their relationship. We would also like to see the business prosper as a, as a part of this whole feng shui thing. And my business, even though it's doing well, we would like to see it go to the next level, become more prosperous, and uh, something that uh, I can turn over my kids and as a retirement. I've always been intrigued by the art of feng shui, and I know a couple of friends that have had their houses feng shui and it's affected their lives always for the good. And I thought to myself, I would like to have this happen to me. The home is where all life's energy lives. So, this is where I always start. The most important element is the front door. It is where the chi, the energy, flows through. Tanya? Hi! Hi, I'm Tammy Lynn. Nice to meet nice you. Nice meeting you. Your home is beautiful. Thank you. Nice. But I'm seeing something right away. Do you mind if we get started? No, please do. Look at that bird. What's going on is it's symbolizing something that could be happening in your life. Do you have like situations where you're really close to getting that brass ring and boop, it almost disappears? Yeah, but what are we going to do about that? That's, uh, I love it. It's expensive. You know what? Later on, we'll come up with a simple solution so you don't have to tear it down because it's gorgeous and we don't want you to do that. Thank you. You know, your home really is beautiful. And having all the water here, water represents wealth and abundance. Not too fast, not too slow, but just right. It's Perfect. So that's really great. Another thing I noticed is that you have no color in this room. Everything is black and white. If you want to add some spice, add some color when we do some of the accessories. And speaking of spice, come over to the southwest corner of this room, the room of first impression, and here you have a naked piano. The southwest corner is representative of relationships. 
So why don't we add some accessories, symbolic of relationship, in order to give you that little zip that you're asking for after being married for 25 years. God bless you. <laughs> anyway, take it a step further. What room would be best relative to relationship? My bedroom. Of course. Why don't we go take a look? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Tanya, you got the same thing going on here, black and white. You got to add some color to your life if you're going to add that little oomph and that little sparkle with everything that you do. You know a really easy way to do it? Tell me. Get a new bedspread. You'll pick one out. You'll love it. It'll be easy. You're going to help me. I'll help you. Okay. And keep in mind that when we go shopping for things, when I'm not with you, only have items that you love, that really make you feel good, that are functional, that are symbolic in some way. Okay. okay? Real you. important. Also, I've noticed that your bed is in the perfect location. It's in the command position. It's important for both partners to be able to see the door to the bedroom. You know, you've got all this junk all around, all these newspapers, all these books. You know, all of this stuff doesn't leave room for relationship. The less clutter that you have, the more there's room for loving and taking care of each other. Because that's what relationship's all about. Look at this little bird. Uh-huh. I mean, he's really cute and everything, but he looks lonely. You think he does? I think he does. When you think about in your relationship, don't you want to sit? Think in terms of couples. Oh. Keep together. In fact, I noticed another love bird, if you will, in your southwest corner of your bedroom. That's the relationship area, the southwest corner. And here you've got this one little guy by himself again. Now, they're in relationship with each other, enhancing your relationship. Anyway, but there's another problem going on here. You know what? It's chi flow. What's happening is that chi, nurturing, loving energy, is getting drawn down into this corridor. And that's where the bathroom is, right? Yes. Well, you don't want all this loving, nurturing energy to go down the toilet. No. We'll come up with a, we'll, we'll come up with a solution. Don't worry about it. In the meantime, you also mentioned you want to enhance wealth possibilities, like we all do. Right. Let's go to the wealth corner. We'll take a peek. You know, the southeast corner of any room is your wealth area. So make sure that throughout your house you don't have clutter. Look at your table. Uh, all this stuff is holding your money back from showing up. Since you like to travel, what would be a great accessory for you? How about a metal bowl? Metal, symbolic of riches, and coins, symbolic of all the places that you'd like to travel. And as you continue to travel, you can add more money, which means you're continuing to grow your wealth. Good idea. It's really important, though. Most important thing in feng shui is setting the intent. When you place it in your wealth area, what you need to do is visualize driving your Mercedes, wearing your beautiful wardrobe, okay? Okay. No time is better than now to get started. Let's go do it. Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it.